Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel and thank you for tuning in. My videos are always about one thing, strategy and analysis. And today we are diving deep into another important topic, monthly flip versus buy and hold. When I say monthly flip, what I mean is buying the, a day before distribution is announced and selling on the day the payment is posted or you receive it in your account. Now, what do you think is the best strategy? What's your opinion? Okay, hold on to your thoughts. What we are going to do in this video is perform a detailed mathematical analysis of both strategies side by side and see which one of them produce the best return, give the highest return. And we will be focusing on yield max ETF NVD1. Before I go into the video, one request, please share, subscribe, like, comment. Your subscription and your like, your comment is needed and that would be much appreciated. Also, you know, I'm not a financial advisor, so I'm not going to tell you what to sell, what to buy, when to sell, when to buy. I'm a mathematician and that is what I do in my videos, I said earlier, right? Analysis, looking at the strategy doing some back testing and see, okay, which one of them is the profitable one, which one makes sense. So provide you one data point that you can use to make a very well informed and profitable decision. So I provide you the skills, knowledge analysis, and you do your analysis and you you, you go from there, right? Also moving on, so let us, so since in this video, we'll be focusing on yield max ETF NVDY. So let's take a look at it, right? So NVDY. So looking over here, Let's start from here. The fund was started on May 2023. So more than a year and a half. And we've been getting paid monthly dividend on this one. Now, what I'm doing is I'm looking at the year today, right? I'm going to look at 2024. If I would have bought at the beginning of the year and hold it into my account as of now, what would have made if instead of that, if I would have been flipping every month, buying it on this declaration date a, a day before that and selling on this date so i'm going to do that calculation in a second so let's go to over here so let's take a look over here right now the first trading day for air 2024 was january 2nd right so let's go back on the yahoo i like to use yahoo because it's easy to take a look at it right so the first trading day of air 2022 was sorry about that first trading day of air 2024 was January 2 and the closing price was $22.13. Right? So just for the purpose of demonstration, I'm assuming that I put $5,000 into this. Now the price of NVDY on January 2nd was $22.13. Now since I, I invested $5,000 in here and the price was $22.13, so I bought $225, well like 226 of the NVDY. Now, I do know that uh, we don't buy and sell in fraction. You can buy 225 or 226, whichever way you like it. But for the sake of simplicity, I will leave this as 225.94 is the number of NVDY ETF that we bought, right? Now, since I bought this on January, so if you go look over here, right? I'm just looking over here. This is the total dollar value of dividend that's getting paid of NVDY per month, right? Now, since I'm only invested in 2024, so this is the first payment that was made on 2024, that was 62 cents on January 9th, right? That, and then February, March, so uh, let me cut this over here and post it over here, right? So, so this is all the payment that we received in 2024. So let's put this over here. So January, I got payment 63 cents, February, $1.53, March, 262, and so on, so on. So since I have this in my portfolio as of today, what that means is so far I got paid $16.22 dividend per ETF, right? So $16.23 dividend that I got paid. So if, since I have 226 NVDY ETF in my account and I got paid $16.23, the total dividend that I received so far on my $5,000 investment is $3,665.86. Now on September 6th, right? Actually, when was the 
Okay, the paper date that was September 9th. So let's do that. Now, September 9th is the one that we got payment over here. September 9th. So let's take a look at it and see what the price was on September 9th. Looking at that on September 9th, the closing price was $21.67. Right? So $21.67. Right? That was the closing price. Now, looking over here, right? The closing price was $21.67 and number of share I had it to $25.94. So the total value of the ETF or the NVDA is $4,900 and $3,600 was received as a dividend. So total value that I have is the stock value plus the dividend that earned is $8,561. Since I only invested five thousand dollars at the beginning of the year, and that five thousand dollars is worth almost eighty six hundred dollars, which is a gain of thirty five hundred sixty one dollars, seventy one point two four percent. Not bad at all, right? So if I bought at the beginning of the year and hold it till September nine, I would have made seventy one percent gain on that. That was the first strategy: buy and hold. Now let's take a look at the second strategy, flipping it every month. When I say flipping it, means if you look over here, right? These are the day that declaration was done, right? For the month of January, it was dividend was declared on January 4th, on the month of February, February 6th, March 5th, and then so on, so on, so on, right? So this is the date dividend was announced. And this is the date payment was posted in the account. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to buy it a day before the declaration date and sell it on the day the payment is received. So I'm going to take this two days, right? So take a look at this date. So this is one four. So I'm going to minus one day to one three. And then you have what the two six, you're going to do it two five and so on, so on, so on, right? So so these are the purchase date. If I'm, if I'm just flipping it every month, right? No sell date, right? If you look at this, we see, the payment was received on January 9, February 9. So I'm going to sell it on the day I received the payment. So January 9, I'm going to sell it February 9. So I'm going to purchase it on this date and sell it on this date. And then I'm going to do the calculation and see if I would have purchased NVDY on this date and sell it on this date, how much would I made on my $5,000 investment. So let's take a look at it. On January 3rd, right? what is the purchase price on January 3rd? So go over here. I like to use Yahoo. You can go to historical data and it's very easy to see that. Right? January 3rd, the closing price is $21.83, right? So let's do this. I'm just, let's do this over here. So, so $21.83, right? And on the month of January, the dividend pays was $63, cent, right? $63. Cent. Now I'm selling it on January 9th. So what the sell price is, let's look on the 9th, January 9th. 22, 20, right? 22, 20. So how much did I gain, right? So, so what my gain is? The sell price plus dividend minus the purchase price, right? So let's do this. I'm going to do sell price. It is sell price plus dividend minus you have $1, right? No. Let's do this. So since I'm investing $5,000, right? $5,000 I invested and my purchase price was $2,183. So that will let me buy 229 share of NVDY on January 3rd. So what is the gain I have, right? I mean, the gain is almost like $229. Let's do the same thing on another one, right? On this one, let's look at this one. So I'm buying it on February 5th. And let's take a look at it, see what the price is on February 5th. February 5th, 2656, right? 2656, and dividend paid is $1.53. And we're selling out on February 9th. Let's take a look at the price on February 9th. Is 2550, right? 2550. Doing the same calculation as before. Now the gain is only 8855. What I'm trying to say, what I'm showing you over here is if you would have bought at the beginning of the year and kept it in your portfolio as of today, you would have made a gain of 71%. Now, 
instead of doing that, if you're flipping it month by month, let's suppose if you bought it on the month of January, and just as soon as you get a payment, you flip it, you only make twenty twenty dollars. If you did it in February, you only made it eight dollars. And going through the same exercise, I don't want to bore you by going through that. You can do it yourself. So if you look at all these, one of them, right, one by one. So this is actually, let's look at this. This is minus. So, well, actually, this is there. My apology for that. Okay. So if you look at that, right, if you're flipping every month, January, you only make 228. February, you make $88. March, actually, you, you're in a loss. Red. Same in April. May, you make 292. So if you look at it, the gain is very, very little. If I add all these gain, if I've been flipping every month, the gain would be like $1,154. But if I kept it all along, rather than flipping it out, I would have made a higher profit. No. So I'm not sure about you, but if I were you, I will invest and hold on to that. I will not be using the flip strategy or I will not be flipping it month after month because my gain is not as high as it is when I just buy it and hold it. So this was the video for today. I hope you enjoyed it. So I will see you soon with some other video. Till then, thank you for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe, share, like, comment. Thank you.